at Turtle Reviews, and in this episode, I'm going to review the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutations Pet Turtle to Ninja Turtle Raphael. Who does not fool? <laughs> anyway, um, I have heard about these um figures in the original Ninja Turtle toy line as well as the 2003 Ninja Turtle toy line. And um yeah, um before we take a look before we take a look at the figure itself, let's let's take a look at the packaging. Now the packaging this time is a lot larger than the standard Ninja Turtles packaging. You see it says mutations Raphael. It shows you the one, two, three steps from Playmates. And it shows Raphael up there, Nickelodeon Team and T logo right there. Go into the back side, there's like a little, there's like a little comic right here, which is a really neat throwback to the, uh, um, vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles boxes. If you want to read that, you can pause it right now. It shows all the figures that are cur currently available, as well as the, um, transforming image right there. If, there's a little biography right there, so if, so if you want to read that, pause it now. And I, th I think I'm not actually... I think I might actually keep this box because it looks really, it looks really nice. Now, on to the figure itself. Let's start off with the detail on this guy. A de this guy's detail, it's a, it's all right. See, um, on his bandana, it's very tattered as it should be. See, on uh, his legs, he has a whole bunch of scratches and wrinkles, right there. Looks really nice. Yeah, he has huge turtle feet. Yeah, look at them turtle toes. Sharpness Prime loves them toes. You see on the back of the shell, there's a whole bunch of nicks and scratches and stuff. Very cool. Sculpted in lines right there. Looks kind of cool. Not too bad. See a little bit of a paint rub here, and that's kind of annoying. But, oh well. Onto his head sculpt. Um, people all complain that Raphael's head sculpt does not fit him in this one. I honestly think it looks freaking hilarious. And I know it does not fit him, but I don't care. It looks freaking hilarious. <laughs> it looks like he's getting... Never mind. Never mind. You don't want to know. It looks... It just looks hilarious. And to be honest, he's very cartoon accurate for what he is. I mean, heck, I think he might be more cartoon accurate than a, than a Revoltek figure. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Honestly, I think that his head sculpt looks freaking hilarious. Alright. Alright, so, um, of course he um, has a huge torso. Which just play into his little action feature that I'm gonna show you soon. Um, I'm gonna show you the transforming feature live on camera. So let's take a quick look at his articulation and his accessories, and then we'll go into that transforming action feature in just a bit. All right, first let's start. Let's start with the articulation. Head down on ball joint, so we can look left, right, and go up and down just a little bit. The arms can go forward and back. They don't really move in and out too much. Um, see the the elbows can uh, bend and swivel, and uh, swivel at the wrists, which is nice. Um, legs go forward and back. A very wide range of motion right there. They can kind of go in and out just a little bit. The um the knees could bend. Yes, yeah, swivels swivels at the knee. And you have a great range of motion at the ankles. And you can also swivel just a little bit. He does have pedals at the bottom of the feet. So articulation is actually really nice on this guy. Alright, quick look at his accessories. Of course, Raphael does come with a size. You can't have a Ninja Turtle without their signature weapons. And one thing I love about these weapons is that they're fully painted. Yes, that looks great. I don't really care for fully painted detail on the weapons, but it is very nice to see it on these um, little accessories right here. Alright, 
I'm going to show you the transform feature live on camera. So, this might be a little tough since I do have a camera in front of me. Alright. All you want to do is just open the shell. Right there. It is locked in pretty tight, so we want to give a good little tug there. Ugh. Oh my god, playing is really locked it in tight. Ugh. Come on, open up. You're embarrassing me. Damn it. There we go. Opened it. Could that be drunk, Raphael? As you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to do. So, I'm going to show you to do it live on camera. Okay. So, see these little flimsy little black legs right here? Well, it rotates those out. There you go. You rotate those out. Which is a little bit. And you see you get a little head right there? You lift it up, you turn it around, and then you ugh, put it in right there. See, there's like a little uh, turtle tail at the bottom? See right here? Well, all you need to do is just rotate that out just a little bit. You see right here? Little turtle tail. And then you take the arms, which we no longer need. You shove those in there. And then, when you're done, you close up the shell. So, you close up the shell. And then, what we do with the, what we do with the, with these legs, you actually pull these forward. And then, and then here, as goofy as it may look, is our baby turtle. Hey, let me get a box for you to, for him to stand on. Okay. Admittedly, the pet turtle form is rather odd. But it doesn't look bad by any means. It just, it just looks a little strange. I mean, the the way that the front legs become uh, the way that the ninja turtle legs become the front legs for the baby turtle, and these little guys right here are just really out of proportion. Um, the head sculpt here is cute for the baby turtle, however. Um, the uh, is this little um bumps and stuff on the turtle, and sculpted in little wrinkles right there. And he does have his own head articulation point. Which is nice. Oh, so yeah. Um, these, the the goof, the baby turtle looks a little strange to me. It doesn't look bad, however. It just looks a little strange. All right, let's turn him. Let's turn him back to his uh ninja turtle form. Here he is. Gotta remove this freaking box here. So there you go, guys. That was my review of the uh, Mutations Pet Turtle to Ninja Turtle. Honestly, I do like it. It's a very neat concept. The pet turtle form looks a little bit goofy, but it doesn't look bad. The turtle head looks actually kind of cute. But anyway, I hope you guys liked it, and then, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time.